We are so excited to be back again with the Seed Pile Project for our 2022-23 version. The Seed Pile Project is a community science initiative where we are giving away three free packets of seeds to anyone who signs up and asking them to take those seed packets and dump them along a transit corridor. Not spread them, not take care of them, but just literally dump them in a pile and watch and see what happens. We want to know what happens in the real world. So we don't want you to take care of the seeds or protect them. We want to see what happens in normal urban conditions. And we want to determine what wildflowers, these are California native wildflowers, which ones do well with no maintenance, just sort of left to their own devices. So this year, each individual gets three packets of seed instead of one, which increases the chance that some of those seeds will survive throughout the duration of the project. Uh, we have a shorter monitoring window, so we're focusing on spring flowering plants so that they can monitor them and stop in May instead of going through like August. Which was a little tough last year. A lot, yeah. Um, we have fewer species, which means it's easier to identify them. Um, this year we developed an app, and we also have an option for teachers that have that want to do it for their classes. They can have their students participate either with the app or with an online version. And we also have an exciting new collaboration. So we're partnering with two UC Davis entomologists. And so once you monitor your seeds and you tell us which of these species that they're studying survive, they'll then take those locations and they'll go out there and actually sample them for pollinators and other herbivores to learn how climate change is impacting urban heating conditions and these plant insect interactions. Seeds are inexpensive and beautiful and hopefully easy to maintain, which is what we're trying to see. And so this is a great way to actually bring these into really dense urban areas. And there's some species that we're using that are just like too messy for a typical garden, but they're super important ecologically. So this is also a chance to get them into our urban world, but not have to sacrifice a garden aesthetic to do so.